guys, in this episode of Ready K, I'm gonna be reacting to the current comeback of the girl group from his 9 called The End. And I gotta say, I'm pretty excited to see uh, whether I'm gonna actually like this song more than their last few songs, which I did enjoy a lot, but ultimately this group is really not for me uh, uh, too much. But I still uh, enjoy doing the reactions to them, which is why I'm doing this. But so far this year, in 2022, K-pop songs have just felt better and different and improved and I'm curious whether uh, that is going to apply to this group as well, whether the songs are going to feel better than uh, their previous few. At the very least I'm expecting to really enjoy the chorus because that has kind of been the general uh, formula of the songs this year. Amazing choruses with somewhat weaker verses, but overall the choruses have been really really good, the best we've had in years in my opinion. So I'm curious whether it's gonna be the case for this uh, one as well. So without further ado, let's get into it and find out in 3, 2, 1. They're pretty much the only girl group at hype at the moment, right? Damn, she looks so pretty with that hair. So far the song has been fine, but nothing particularly interesting, so I'm hoping it's gonna have a good chorus. Honestly, I'm kind of mad about this song. It's not bad, but I'm finding it hard to find anything that engages me personally. I mean, I guess the visuals uh, of the girls in the music video in general are pretty good. I also really like their outfits. But for the song itself, it's not bad, but it is a little bit uninteresting to me. Which doesn't mean that it's bad, you know, just because I'm not interested in it doesn't mean anything. And we still have the rest of the, uh, the second half of the song and a second reaction before I say my final thoughts, so I might get into it more. The vocals are definitely really good. And the outfits are really pretty in this music video. I really love the outfits. And the girls' visuals are crazy. Ooh, that was a really good final in the background. I really like her with the sh uh, shorter hair, she looks so good. Okay, so like I said, I don't hate the song, I think it's actually pretty good, but I just personally don't really find it that interesting. I, f I feel like I enjoyed or at least found uh, the last few songs of theirs that I reacted to a little bit more interesting. Uh, than this, because I feel like there was a little bit more variety in them, I don't know. This one just feels... Uh, 
I know that might sound harsh and I don't mean it to sound harsh, but it just felt a little bit boring to me. It's not bad, it's a good song and I feel like anybody else, everybody else is going to enjoy it, but just for me personally, there wasn't much to really keep me interested in the song itself. The music video is engaging enough, uh, and like I said, the visuals are all great and everything, but for the song itself, I just don't really find it uh, that engaging, which again, that doesn't mean the song is bad or anything, I just personally uh, don't care for it, I guess, uh, is one uh, way to say it. So I hope you're just not gonna dislike this video just because uh, I personally don't really find it that engaging. And if you're uh, gonna comment also, why the hell are you reacting to this if you consistently don't like it? Well, you never know. You never know whether you're gonna like a song, uh, a song or not until you check it out. And I don't mind doing that, you know? But yeah, we still have a second listen. Maybe it's gonna grow on me uh, more on the second listen. Because like I said, it's not a bad song. I just found it unengaging uh, for me personally. So yeah, I guess before I say my final thoughts, let's just get into it one more time in 3, 2, 1. Ooh, I love how she pulls out her hair like that. Like, the visuals are really crazy, honestly. I feel like this is the best this group has looked in my opinion. Man, she looks so pretty! Her voice sounds so good. Like I said, the problem with the song that I have is not really in the vocals or anything. It's just kind of an interesting song for me. I'm honestly even impressed by their vocals. I feel like quality-wise, they're definitely feel like a high group. Like the quality of their music is definitely out there. It's just that this does not engage me personally. Like, I personally, even in these kind of songs like this one, I still need some kind of variety that spices the song a little bit. Uh, and I, I don't think really that this song has that. It's just a little bit kind of samey all throughout, and there's not much of a change throughout, you know? But the music video itself, I definitely really like it. The music video, uh, the outfits and the visuals, uh, of the girls are all impeccable. Okay, so yeah, in terms of a rating for this song, I'm honestly still gonna go with like a pretty high 9 out of 10 because I don't think there's anything wrong with the song itself. 
other than the fact that I personally feel like uh, the song is a little bit bland for me, but the song itself is fine. I think everybody is gonna enjoy it. Like it's a very easy to get into song. It's very mellow. It's very easy on the ears and the vocals themselves in the song are really good. Like I think the girls did the best they could. It's just the song itself uh, for me, what they've decided to go with, it's just like I said, a little bit uh, unengaging. It's too s same with not too much of a change to spice up the song, and it just doesn't really uh, keep my attention that much. And uh, like I've men and like I've mentioned before in my videos, this kind of songs are actually what I tend to listen to when I listen to a song in English. It's just in K-pop, I'm looking for something different because of the language barrier, you know. So. I don't even personally myself think the song would be bad and that I would never listen to it. It's just that because it's K-pop, that's not what I'm uh, looking for. But it if it, but if it is uh, what you're looking for, then yeah, this is a really, uh, really good song. And like I said, for this one, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. But yeah, what did you guys think about this song? Comment down below and let's have a discussion about it. And also, if you think that there are maybe some B-sides that might be more up my alley from From Is 9, I would be happy to check them out. Uh, so make sure to comment down below and show that there is a demand for a reaction like that. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently two patrons on Patreon, Omar Bridgman and Deadpool. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me that you have decided to support me and have continued to support me for such a long time, it really means a lot to me, uh, I hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me uh, going forward. And now, before we end this video, I just want to talk about something uh, to you guys very quickly, um, which some of you may or may have not noticed before or know about me, that being the fact that I am trans. And yes, this may come uh, as shocking uh, to some of you because I don't really flaunt it that much on my channel, or at least I feel like I don't. Um, outside of like my K-pop reactions, which is where I feel like the most comfortable being myself like this. And yeah, I am in fact trans. Um, I'm not necessarily full on uh, male to female, but I heavily want to transition to being pretty female. I do consider myself more non-binary though, or maybe gender fluid would be the best descriptor as well, because I do have occasional moments where I feel fine being like just a normal guy, but most of the time, like right now, I do feel very dysphoric. Um, and that's why I'm asking you guys for any help that you can give me, because my situation right now, I, I don't really see any way out of, outside of you guys' help. Because, and this is gonna be kept short and concise, I live with my parents, they're never going to accept me as a trans person. They, they just never will. And as a matter of fact, back when I started the YouTube channel, I was actually kind of slightly starting my transition back then with like starting to grow out my hair. Um, I even got to DIY HRT, but because my parents started noticing certain things like uh, uh, my behavior had changed a lot and my clothes had changed a lot, I kind of had to stop doing that because they were constantly nagging me about cutting my hair and just started to kind of be threatening in a certain way and felt like they were ashamed of me and everything and that just kind of that kind of stress just tired me out to the point where I just gave up but as dysphoria goes it just doesn't go away you know I still feel like this and in fact it's somewhat been intensifying again recently so I just wanted to share this with you guys and again I would really appreciate any amount of support you can give me in regards to this because um, I just don't see any way out of this. Because even if I mo uh, moved out of my parents' house and got my myself a job and everything, that's just not gonna work for long-term uh, planning because once I transition, it's like I 
probably will not be able to get myself a job because my country is very transphobic nobody gives a shit about lgbt people at all so there's not even much i can do even in terms of transitioning here so yeah i don't know i just would appreciate any amount of support you can give me uh, be it monetarily or in any way otherwise and this is not about uh, boosting my channel or anything or guilt tripping you with my sob story i just wanted to get this off my chest and make my subscribers aware of the situation that i am in and that i would appreciate anything that you guys can help me out with it would mean literally everything like for example uh, a friend that i made after starting this youtube channel my good friend Yuri has been helping me out a lot and I genuinely might have not been here if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him showing up and befriending me. So yeah, this just went a little bit longer than I, I intended, but I would just uh, really appreciate anything you can support me with. That's kind of ultimately what I'm trying to say. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out the list in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there and to my Wattpad or post my stories because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Coffee account where you can pledge support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine, you can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!